Okay. <laughs> We're going live, people. We're going live. Right. All right. So let's go. Oh, this oh, going. Oh, Happy yes. Monday. Happy yes. Monday. We are on July 12th. 12th. Oh, oh yep. Monday. Day. Yeah. Yay. Happy Monday. Happy Monday. Happy Monday. Happy Monday. So we're going to start with, did you know? All right. Want to say it again? Oh, did you <laughs> ever saw cricket? Timmy, have you ever saw a cricket? Yeah. 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 Yeah, Carmen. Yes. Okay. Okay. So. Here's about the crickets. So crickets detect sound through their legs. Whoa, I didn't know that. So if we rub our legs, we can hear somebody? Let's see. No. I don't hear anything. We're not hearing anything. I didn't hear anything. I don't think we're crickets. Are we crickets? No. No. Are you guys crickets? So we have to use our ears to listen, right? Yeah. Okay. One, one okay. two. Sound can pass through a cricket's entire the opening of its legs lead into the chambers that connect to either side of its body. This helps the bug determine what directions sounds are coming from simply by turning one one way or another. Wow. Fun facts. Facts right there, guys. That's fun pretty facts. cool. Did not fun facts. I'm glad Interesting. we're done with that one. Crickets are disgusting. <laughs> Butterflies. Did you guys know that my name means butterflies? What? what? Does I it searched really? it up. No I searched way. the meaning of Aww. and Vanessa means butterfly. Well, hello, Aww. butterfly. That's so right. <laughs> so fitting. Okay, so aside from their bright color, vibrant colors, butterflies also release a chemical signal like pheromones, pheromones. to lure and potential mates. In fact, male butterflies can can. Detect some female pheromones from ten miles away. Oh my god, that's a long way away. That's so crazy. That's that's a long way. Yeah, butterflies can smell each other from miles away. Pretty pretty interesting fact. Yeah, I'm glad that we don't do that. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, no. So what's next? <laughs> Look at the fuzzy one. And I'm taking this one. You like that one? I like the fuzzy one. You so you get your little friend in the middle. That's okay. That one's fine. <laughs> Have you ever seen a caterpillar? Have I've you? Seen one, but I don't know what type. You've oh. seen a caterpillar, Jean? Yeah. Nice. Not the, well, not the first one. I think the middle one I've seen. Okay. 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 So, um, fun fact: I have a plant at home. It's called a milkweed plant that oh. caterpillars actually eat. And so this summer, I had like hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of caterpillars, wow. and I got to yes. see them. Go into their different stages and become butterflies. And then there was butterflies everywhere. How? Oh. Yeah, oh. Next year. Oh. Wow. Have to do next year. Caterpillar butterfly season. I'll have to bring some in and we can see how it happens. How it happened. Happened. Yeah. That would be so, be so fun. fun. That, would be, that so. would be super neat. I enjoy it. So, the yeah. caterpillars. Caterpillar has more muscles than a human. Oh, whoosh. Mm hmm. Fingers everywhere. Right. <laughs> the human body has more than 650 skeletal muscles. And some figures go up to 840, depending on how um, 
experts count the muscles within a complex muscle, but caterpillars have a whooping 4,000 muscles with 248 muscles just in their head alone. Oh my God. Did you know that? 248. Oh. That's insane. Insane amount of muscle. Right. Did any of you know that? 248 muscles in his in the caterpillar. That's, I, That's I mean, I wonder how many we have in ours. So yes, right. that yeah, that would be I mean, interesting to know. Because no. they're so small. Well, I yes. Imagine. So it's because they need a lot of muscles to help push blood from their rare segments into the front segments to elongate the torso and move them along. Uh, so that's why they do that. The weird mm -hmm. what, what do they do? The word. They move. They move. <laughs> I don't know. They are <laughs> <They move. laughs> <But>, Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Do you guys know, know how a caterpillar moves? How's a caterpillar move? We don't know that. <laughs> Have you seen a caterpillar, Katie? Yes. Yeah. How's the caterpillar move? Can he move really slow? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Good oh, job. <laughs> <laughs> Do. do you guys have trees in your yard? Do you have tree? Have you seen trees? I know there's trees. Trees are in your back backyard. We have them in our backyard, our front yards, or at the parks. Have you seen them at the parks? You have lots of trees there. Okay, wow. sounds good. <laughs> my, my favorite tree in our backyard is the lemon tree. Oh, yeah, the lemon yeah. Tree. This is I lemon love lemon time. tree. Water. Yeah, we put them in our water. Wow. Yeah, we have so many. Well, I had it one time. Oh, lemon tree. Oh, oh, tree. Oh, I had a mango oh, tree okay. and an orange tree. So you basically oh, had your own little fruit. Uh, uh, Going on back. There. Yeah, okay. yeah, I like it. Pretty, pretty fun. Yeah, pretty That's fun. Like yeah. It. So right, let's our, see what our, it says. Did you, know? did you know trees talk? Trees. Did any of you guys know trees talk? I don't think I've ever heard of tree talk, guys. Have you? <laughs> it says. I mean, there's there's the grandmother Willow in Pocahontas. She talks, but oh, I don't know. Yeah. Made a cartoon. Yes. Yes. So it says that. trees talk. Their roots are connected. Name the wood wide web. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. You that one, huh? I like that. I'm a comic. Wood wide web. <laughs> that allows them to share resources with each other. They talk by transmitting nutrients to one another through the fungi. For instance, a mother tree or oldest and strongest tree in the forest will share some of her sugars with smaller nearby trees. That's adorable. Oh, that's like giving that's the babies so a hug. Yes, but mom, yes. I mean, like our moms, and you know, they used to feed us and give right. us everything, and now all the all that to make us grow. Yeah, and yes. they're like the older trees. That's like yeah. a grandma or an yeah, elder yeah. giving yeah. us some care to the care other. and information. I really so love that. I, that. I even love trees more I now. Know. That's or, awesome. I love trees. Yeah. Yes. Who likes trees? Who's seen like an tree. orange tree before? Like tree. Palm trees? Palm trees? 
is cool. There's a lot of those around here. What about New York? Not palm trees there. No, no palm trees so there, much. right? Not, not so there. much. Are Ken, you have you? There's a lot of them yet. No. Okay, yeah. Ken, have you seen a tree? Yeah. What kind? What favorite tree do you have? Yeah, we have a tree. Uh, tree. Shannon said a banana tree. Banana tree? Oh, cool. Yeah, really like it. We like that. <laughs> Swimming <laughs> under. <laughs> yes. Yes. So, oh my gosh, can you hold your breath that long? Uh, not really. It not, says not that's the, the world record for holding their breath for for twenty four minutes and three seconds. Oh my god! But I like this fun fact right here. That's the typical amount of time it takes to watch one episode of The Office. That's hilarious. That is great. Can we swap out the office for friends though? Because I'm more of a friend. Yes, we can show? do a friend show. Okay. Yes. <laughs> but that's funny because I don't think I'd be able to hold my breath. Watching a whole episode of Friends. That's yes, long. that's like, really long. I would need to breathe. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and because of the laughter that would well, happen, that's you true couldn't too. hold my breath. I breath. couldn't hold my breath and laugh. I mean, the yes. Too, so, yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> is this Alex or Ellie? Yeah. Um, set the world record in breath taking attempt. So that really? person held their breath for twenty four minutes. That's oh my! My gosh! I'm like winded just just like, to even think about it yes look at this who's singing it for you the other one is the female. There you go. Oh, do you know what the female's called? A lioness. A lioness. Very good. And do you know? See all this right there? That's how they recognize the different different lions by the pattern and the print. Right there in their whiskers by their nose. That's so cool. Isn't, isn't that, that cool? So wow. they're saying um, it's researchers like our could, yeah, it's just like it's our like, fingerprints. Exactly. This, our fingerprints are our identity that's unique to each of us, right? Well, their whisker patterns are unique to each of them, too. Isn't that pretty cool? Hi, Felipe. Waving those fingers around. You showing us your fingerprints. That's so basically, they know the lions and lioness by their mouth where their whiskers are. Pretty cool, huh? That's neat. What do you guys think? Did not know that. No. Did you know? Did not know that. Elephants! Oh, 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 so cute. So cute. So cute. All right, we're going to. Thank you. Okay. So, according to live science, Elephants have many admirable qualities, including a fantastic sense of smell, um, a seeming near socialize. Despite all of this, here's a crazy animal fact about elephants. Elephants are unable to jump. 
Who would have thought? Mm. Uh, uh, mm. I just imagine them, you know, tiptoeing and flipping and flopping. <laughs> Could you imagine them jumping? I think if three of them or four of them jumped, the earthquake thing would, the Richter scale would be off the chart. What do you guys think? Have you ever seen an elephant jump? No. I've mm -hmm. seen one fly, oh, Dumbo. Dumbo. Oh, Dumbo. Another Dumbo good fly. joke. Dumbo. Another good joke. Oh, that's because they have one. Speaking of Dumbo, it, the Disney animated one, the animated one this year turns eight. 80? Oh, wow. Wow. Years. Did you know that? Yes. That's awesome. Yes, that's so awesome. What an evolutionary researcher at the Royal Veterinary College in London calls Wimpy lower leg muscles and inflexible ankles, conditions that can also make it a challenge for them to run for more than a short distance. Wow, maybe that's why I'm not running so far. Maybe no. me too. No. It's yeah. not. Yeah. Okay. Or like, I don't know. <laughs> Maybe it's Grace told us that's not know. what's happening with us. <laughs> oh, oh, a sea turtle. Who has seen a sea turtle before? Has anybody ever seen a sea turtle? Yes. Has anybody been to the aquarium? They have them there. Have been some of you guys? Yeah. Yes. Two years ago, Felipe. Yeah. Yes. Did you see the turtle? Yeah. Turtle. Yes. So let's find out. Wow. Do you know about sea turtles? Let's see. <laughs> Did you know the fastest reptile is, is the sea turtle? Did you guys? Know that what? that the sea turtle is the fastest reptile. It's faster than a lizard. Well, it could be. It it's must. Be. Well, that's saying why. So let's, let's see. Marlon and Dory had a wild ride when they went for a cruise on Cushions back and it seems that scene has the basis and truth so see kind of like just take off in that water i need to get some swimming lessons from that sea turtle yes 35 miles per hour that's really interesting <laughs> So, so true. Oh, 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 Loves, oh, loves sloths. Like, oh. So you probably think a sloth is one of the slowest wild animals out there. And they are pretty slow to be sure, but they actually have a neat talent that you may not know about. They're, they're skilled swimmers too. Wow. Oh, I did not know that. 
and they sweat about three to four times faster than they usually move. So when you see them move, moving super slow, when they get in the water, they really get their swim on. They can do the brush stroke just like humans do. And it's a vital skill for them to survive in the rainforest that have a tendency to flood. So they've learned to swim because of the flooding and stuff in the rainforest area. Wow. So it says, if you thought it wasn't possible, for sloths to get any cuter, just imagine one swimming. Oh, I would like to see that. That would be pretty cool. That's Something I would have to look at. Yeah. Uh oh. Oh, where? Oh, 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 well. What about a whale? Oh, well. what what a I know Travis has got boat riding. Boat riding. Oh, Travis yeah. rides yeah. on the boat. Yeah. yeah. He really nice. Nice, Travis. Yes. Yeah. So did you know that these mated aquatic mammals cannot actually breathe underwater? What? What? So how do they live underwater? Hmm. Well, they have to periodically return to the surface to breathe. Wow. So that raises the question. Raises the question. So how do they sleep? How do you think a whale sleeps, you guys? Does anyone know how a whale sleeps? Well, he, they're saying under the water, Shannon, that mm -hmm. they they can't. They have to come up up and breathe sometimes. Well, so we can let them sleep under the water. Let's see. Well, they, they do, but only half of their brains sleep at a time. No. One very slow wave sleep. <laughs> you got it. <laughs> this method allows the whales to get enough rest while also staying alert enough to consciously breathe and be on the lookout for any danger. So does, does that mean if I maybe close one eye? I, I could let this part sleep for a minute. I don't know if it works for a human. Oh, I don't know. Wow. I'd get be... plenty of sleep if I could do right. that, right? Me too. <laughs> That'll be interesting. <laughs> but let's move on. Let's see. Did you know? Awesome. Oh, That's oh, right. So according to Polar Bears International, Polar bears use an adorable, unique type of greeting. Oh, excuse me. They what? touch when noses. You that says polar bear, could you look up someone? Hi. We will see if they're in there. Take care of this first. So it says when they come to greet each other, they touch noses to say hello. Oh, so okay. it's like in some of us, like some people, like in our cultures, we can't. Shake Handshake or some just fist pump, fist pump or give a hug. Uh, yes, to say hello. Oh, right. The way how they greet oh. is to touch the nose. That That'd be so pretty cool. different, huh? Um, so, yeah. Up and just touch somebody's nose. That would be kind of, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> they, Interesting. This is also how they request to share. Their food. A bear will approach another bear that's feeding and touch its nose to ask permission for snack time. Wow. Mm -hmm. Pretty cool. 
Pretty cool. Uh oh. Ooh, so what do you guys think that is? Ken. The sun. The sun. Uh, Ken, can you read that for us? Yes. Oh. So did you know the sun is bigger than you can even imagine? When you look up at the sky and see the sun beaming down at you, it's hard to tell how truly big it is. So consider this. About a million duplicates of Earth could comfortably fit inside of it. According to NASA, so <laughs> and if the sun didn't supply our main energy, we'd be shivering in the dark. Its core releases this energy that is the equivalent of a hundred billion nuclear bombs. So wow! And what do you guys think about the sun lately? It's been been really, really hot, huh? Yeah. It's been really yeah. hot lately. Yeah. Okay, so let's see what else we have. I got a question. One when you say hot, this yeah. state is in a drought. But the only way you'll solve it, move to New York, then you won't have a drought. Well. New York. We could move to New York to save the drought, but you know what else we could do? For what? We could all do our part and conserve water. We what could if take back east? They don't have any drought. I don't know, but we could take shorter showers. We could, when we're brushing our teeth, turn off the water, water and turn it back on when we need to yeah. finish brushing. We could stop watering our lawn so much and come up with something oh, more, oh, you know, you know my sister yeah. tells me, you know, it's different problems if you move to New York. Oh, you have probably hurricanes. You probably have flooding and you know, all that. It's different problems. Lots yeah. of things going on. Huh? <laughs> they're not in the top, but they get too much water. And that's not pretty. Right. Right. So let's see. We're at the end of Oh. Walking in space might cause you to crave steak. What? I got it. That's it's why I'm craving steak. I'm ah, in space. So New York steaks? Yes. So we're getting you, Gene. New York steaks. What do you think? What? What do you think about a New York steak? steak I like. Yes. We do too. We do too. So it says walking in space might cause you to crave a steak. My goodness. So it says, astronauts returning from a space walk have noted the aroma of various odors on their space suits, ranging from metal to char char charcoal broiled steak. That's due to a poly. Solidic, aromatic, wow, P-A-H-S. That's what it's due to. Yes. Which are byproducts of dying stars. The P-A-H-S's are also released from burning coal, wood, gasoline, and you guessed it, charcoal broiled meat. My goodness, so we didn't even really have to go to space nope. to know 
that me walking around here it just and did you hear recently that is it the tesla man or or somebody just went to space recently and his own spaceship he made yes they were in space for 90 minutes did you know look that look it up yeah somebody just went to space Uh oh we're we're still in space we're still in space all right space move over moon rock so you don't have to go all, all the way to Mars to get a souvenir from space. When meteoroids 